Hi, Yoda. I came in to do eyeballs. And this little one was just sitting on the heating pad. I had to move things around. Because I forgot how gross baby kittens are. I woke up this morning and came in here. And this whole area was disgusting. And then this whole area was disgusting. They had used the blanket. And there was just poop all over the walls. It was everywhere. Yes, it was. So now we have a litter box there. Um, I did um, Tipper and another kitten. Well, she's like six, seven months old, but I haven't introduced her yet because she's going to a different foster today. So I didn't. You saw her a little bit in the video up against the screen, but I didn't really introduce her because I knew she was going to another foster. Um, but they were spayed today and I have a special deal with my vet. Um, their clinics and stuff aren't open, but when they do these shelter animals, if there are any open slots, he lets me bring mine up for spay and neuter because he is wonderful. And so they went and I talked to him about their condition because they honestly, well, this one's not as bad, but they have no, they're so malnourished. They have no muscle mass whatsoever. This one kind of has a little bit here, but the, but several of them, you can just feel every bone and with their eyes and stuff. So we did decide to start them on Clavamox, which is an antibiotic. So they got their first round this morning. Look at that belly. And he did say, well, I was telling him, um, you know, that they're eating well. And he said, especially the two little ones, to try for like some milk. So I put milk out and they drank some of it and they've got lots of food which they're not eating as well today as they did yesterday. And look, there's ants. I have a couple ants and it's driving me crazy. But the rest of them are in there. And the, the ginger one's eyes are worse today. Whereas in the black one's eyes are looking better, but I don't know. It's just a, it's just kind of a little stressing me out because they're not really eating as much, and they need it. They really need it. But I didn't see, and I know this is gross, but I didn't see any worms in the poop, which I'm shocked about. I mean, there still could have been some there. I don't like dissect the poop, like I don't go through it with it. But normally, if they have as many worms as I thought these ones would have. Um, it's evident. Oh, there you go. But yeah, they're just, they don't seem to have as much energy today either. So I don't know what's happening. Okay. Well, I'm going to clean their eyes and hold. I'm, I'm holding each one for a while because they still get a little hissy. And then I have to feed Leo and Remy and Bree. Say okay. I have to show you this dirty Wolverine. You don't really look like a werewolf anymore now that you're all fluffy. See, I was clean. I was very clean. Very fluffy. Look at me now. How are you doing? <laughs> I mean, look at that. What happened? Say, I like to play in my food. I like to play in the litter box. Yeah. Are you still a little frightened of me? I know. They're still a tiny bit. The gingers aren't. Um, 
but everybody else is a little still intimidated. I mean, they're okay. They're not like, but they're not my best friends yet. I will be best friends, but the gingers, however, love me. I've got one on my lap. But look at that dirty monkey. <laughs> Where's the other? The other black one is clean as a whistle. And this one, but this one has some wild fur. Some wild fur. What is it? Can you not decide? You almost made it to my lap. You almost made it to my lap. I didn't even want to film it. It's still quite gross in here. But, and then, do you know what they did? Okay, this is, kittens are so, like, I promise you I say this 50, 100 times a year. Kittens are so tricky. They're so tricky. Because, one, you would think, especially cats that come, like, from outside that are malnourished. What are you doing? And starving. You would think they would not be picky. But they are. So... Yesterday, I don't think I filmed a lot yesterday, but I do remember filming something about them not eating. They wouldn't eat. We started them on antibiotics, and they didn't eat their breakfast, and they didn't eat their lunch, and it was really stressing me out. It was. It was stressing me out. Um, look at them. Look at them. Come here. Oh, my gosh. The belly on this one. Oh, they have gained so much weight just in the past 24 hours. Look at that belly. Look. So anyway, so I, I had just had it. I was like, oh my gosh. So I made a tray of food that had every like type of food, like just a small thing of every type of food. Well, guess what? The bits, the Fancy Feast grilled, they lost their minds. They chowed and chowed and chowed. So now, I promise you, all five of them have probably gained a quarter of a pound since yesterday they have had so many cans that's their second breakfast and they'll eat it all like they will eat every little oh you've got everybody else um they'll eat it all so it was just they weren't going to eat the kitten food or the pate just not going to do it but look i mean you can see how full their bellies are and you and yesterday they were not. It's just crazy. That's why that's why you just have to keep trying with kittens. Like even when you just they're like, Oh, there's no hope. There's always hope. There's always something to do. Even if it's like crazy. You just try it. Cause kittens are tricky. Yes, you are. I know. Yeah. This one loves me. Oh, here. I wanted to show. Oh, well, you still, you've got a little fluff on you. I was bragging how clean you are. But you've got a little stuff on you. And their eyes are looking a lot better. Um, but I have been really diligent with their eye stuff. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling because I know no one wants to listen to me ramble. They want to see cute kittens. And they're not going to be cute right now because I'm cleaning. So I'll film them later when they're being cute. The little gray bear was being so cute grooming. But the ginger, he's moving it up. Oh. But now the ginger is climbing me, so maybe we can get it. I know. Well. Alright. Okay. This is going to be a weird one. Uh, because the world is weird right now, and 
I am doing a thing where when deliveries come, I let them sit um, for a while and then I'll unpack and sanitize everything before bringing it into the house just in case. So I'm doing this outside. <laughs> um, and all of these are from Miss Lisa Hart. Uh, thank you. And it's really funny. I have chose this one because it says Steph. Um, some lighthearted items for Kitten Stock 2020. And it came in the box with the light up toys. So I thought that was funny. She made a pun. Um, and Lisa generously sent two cases of Fancy Feast uh, Poultry and Beef Grilled, a seafood grilled, and the ever loved favorites, the delights, uh, with cheddar. She also sent a case of the tuna um, grilled, which, for some reason, um, they really, really, like, lately have been loving. They're so, cats are just weird. Cats are just weird. I'll leave it at that. She also sent two of the Purr Pillow Kitties, which we love around here, especially for the little ones. And then, these are so cute, um, and you'll be able to see them, because I'm actually, after I sanitize, I'm going to give one to Tipper. They're like little birds, but they're very, like, squishy and um, have a lot of feathers, which everyone really likes. And then, I was so excited to see these. Um, she sent two more of the... Uh, slicker brushes that I have been loving and I have learned well I haven't learned but it, I realized I need one for each group of kittens because to keep it sanitary especially for things like ringworm and that kind of thing no one has ringworm but that's how you keep from getting ringworm um, each group needs their own brush and then of course they can be sanitized after and go to another group but um and now that I have Slate, who has more fur than possible, um, he needs his own. And then Marilyn has a ton of fur, and, you know, she has to have her own. So that's where these two are going. Um, Marilyn and Slate are getting those two. And then she sent a double pack, or a pack of double A batteries, which is always, always wonderful. Batteries and light bulbs go quickly around here. And then these two things are really cool. And after I sanitize and do all that stuff, um, I'll set them up. One probably in the nursery and one probably the little ball in the kitten closet and this one in the nursery. But this is just a laser light, that an automatic laser light that goes around. And I think this is too, but it like spins around like a ball. So I think that will be really fun in there. And then I love these things. The only problem is they only last like one or two litters because as they grow, they start chewing all the stuff off. But this is like a little play mat. And especially when they're little babies, they love to like lay on their backs and play or climb it and play with the dangly toys. So... That is really fun as well. So thank you, Lisa, very, very much. Um, especially during this time for thinking about us and sending us some food and fun supplies.